Hello Balloon World, Fad James here from Sammy J Balloon Creations. I just bought this new Striker Balloon Popper tool. Seems really cool, um, very lightweight, very sturdy. Um, it's easy to open. Has a magnet in the handle to keep it open and closed. And the tip of it has these, I guess, small nails, uh, large pins, um, but they're very sharp, very pointy, and there's a whole bunch of them. Should be easy to pop balloons. We're gonna test it out now and see if it really works. Behind me is a trailer full of balloons from a Halloween project that I had. Uh, there's uh, over a thousand balloons, of course. Um, and I'm gonna see if the striker really works and we'll give it a live test right here and we'll see how it does. Wish me luck. <laughs> That went pretty well. I think the striker worked very well. Um, it's good for swiping back and forth and popping balloons. Uh, the balloons we had there were uh, 260s, 5 inch, 11 inch, 17 inch, double stuffed, um, and animal print. I didn't have any uh, chroma reflex in this particular build, uh, but I don't think this thing would work any differently. Um, I did notice this from time to time, it didn't pop the older balloons as much as you just punctured them and they deflated. So that could be good in a, uh, uh, an indoor situation where you didn't want a lot of explosions, um, but it did pop very well. Occasionally some uninflated uh, latex would get stuck on the uh, pins, um, so you had to remove that, but I had the same, I've had the same problem with uh, using razor knives, and that's what I usually use as a razor knife. The razor knife is a little more dangerous as you're swiping. Um, you can cut yourself a lot more easily. Um, but this thing worked very, very well. I like the fact that when you're done popping or you wanna take a break from popping, all you have to do is open the handle and close it up. Fits right in your back pocket very easily. Um, so I would give uh, the striker uh, a thumbs up. Um, if you're using scissors, stop using scissors. The cutting is just, uh, uh, can wear you out. I would get a striker um, and you can uh, see a link um, down below uh, for where to uh, buy your striker. Um, I think it's a really great product. It seems to work very well. I'm gonna continue to use it. Uh, can you replace the pins? Um, I asked the manufacturer about that. They said, yes, you can. They'll have a video about that someday. But I found out that if you close it, and you grab the head of the uh, little pins or the little nails, you can pull them right out. So I think that's kind of a cool thing. So if you need to replace them, but I can't see them getting dull um, for quite a while. Uh, they're very sharp now, and I think they'll stay sharp for quite a while, but you can easily replace them with, uh, these look like little finishing nails of some sort, but you can easily find those at uh, your big box home product store. Um, so yeah, I'd give the Striker um, a thumbs up. I think it's really great and uh, um, I recommend it. <laughs>